week for hard soda slash cider Saturday, we tried that Jack Daniels way too much whiskey flavor stuff. And in that vlog, I said that this week we were going to try the Captain Morgan and Cola rum type stuff and see which is better. So that's about to happen. What be going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the hard soda slash cider of the today. We've got a can of Captain Morgan Spiked Cola Premium Rum Beverage. Oh yes, like I said in the beginning, last time we had the Jack Daniels cola and whiskey type stuff. Really wasn't big on that. I'm not a huge like spiked spiced rum. Mm -hmm. nom, nom, nom. Yummy yummy. Uh black rum, yummy yummy yummy. Regular rum? Nah, not so much. So I don't really know what to expect from this, so let's crack her open. And let's see what we have got. I'm assuming it's just going to look like cola. Like it's probably not going to look overly interesting at all. Decent carbonation. Get that fizzy sound. Hear the fizzy? Hear the fizzy? As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to those who watch my videos. The beer loves you all so very, 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 very much. Yeah, it looks pretty cola-ish. Dark kind of ruby redness there's no point putting a light behind it it's cola you know what cola looks like i would hope Ooh. it smells like cola it doesn't have any kind of real maybe a little underlying rummy kind of sensation actually i should put this up there now as well there isn't really anything of note as far as like i can't find anything on this particular can of rum and cola anywhere on their website but if you want to check it out then go to i'm pretty sure it's captainmorgan.com and and you can see what what they've, they've got as far they don't show this though like i said they, they show their rums no cooler type things whatever let's give this a shot Yeah, this is at least 300 times better than the Jack Daniels one. Sorry, I can't even... Jack Jack Daniels just doesn't come to my mind for some reason. But this is damn tasty. Way more of that overall yummy cola flavor. So uh, let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, the rum flavor's there, but the the way the rum flavor mixes with the cola flavor compared to the way the whiskey flavor and the Jack Daniels one mixed with the cola flavor, this one is way better. You still get that kind of little hint of the rum flavor, but at the same time, it's more cola. It's got way more carbonation as well. Almost, that might be my one criticism. Maybe a little bit high on the carbonation. Even though it doesn't look it, it's it's in there. But, but the flavor. The flavor is delicious. On this date, nope, sorry, I didn't even say that. Today being March 4th, fuck, I'm doing really good with this new setup of mine. Yeah, every day there's been some kind of stupidity type shit going on. Today being March 4th, on this date in 1908, the Collingwood School Fire occurred uh, near Cleveland, Ohio, killing 174 people. It was a terrible, terrible disaster due to the design of the building. Giant building that literally only had, sorry, most curses sitting there, only had two exits. And the way that the exits were, it was like the wide hall area that narrowed into this kind of tiny corridor and people literally like piled up to the point where they couldn't get out anymore. And yeah. And then after this happened on the adjacent lot, they ended up erecting a new school that was built to the absolute highest fire code kind of standards of the time. 
doesn't really help the people that died in the original fire. But I guess too, uh, apparently the way the building with the original building, where was it? Right there, was designed. It's all, its entire outer structure was like concrete and it was all wood inside. So once the fire started, the entire building acted like a chimney. It was like sucking in air and just driving more oxygen into the fire. It was, it was crazy. I've never been in any kind of burning building. I can't even imagine the, the terror that one would feel in that situation. Crazy. Really, dog? I'm not sure if it's being picked up on camera right now, but... That was picked up on camera. Random Facebook message, really? Yeah, if that other sound... Oreo decided now was the great time to uh, eat some food. His food dish is kind of right, right down there. Good times. Another random thing I haven't really addressed. It's, I put it into my description since it happened. But ever since my friend Charismatic the Addict came by, hip-hop kind of not any kind of real star but in my opinion he is wildly musically talented he has given me a ridiculously generous selection of beats that i can put in behind my vlogs so as to not have to use that same i don't mind like i i hope nobody watching doesn't like it because excuse me excuse me again like I said, kind of mildly high on the carbonation here. The, uh, the, I can't, I can't even pronounce it. Whatever it is by Mozart, Ein Kleint Night Music with a blah, blah, blah. Fucking, really? I didn't mute my phone. Yeah, um, I like the music, but I don't like, I, I like a little bit of variety in things. So I'm very, very happy that he has donated, like, all these beats to me that I can use. He didn't put any words into them because they'll be distracting. But yeah, like like this whole setup and everything else that I've said before, if you have any comments or suggestions or criticisms about the new setup and the new, the new way we're doing things, then let me know. And if enough of you hate it, then I guess we'll go back to the old way. I, I personally, I'm really enjoying this new way of doing things. So I really, I really do hope that at least most of you watching are enjoying it as well. You actually you kind of get to see way more of my home. That's kind of a thing. I don't know. Not just the back of my couch. You can still even see. Right over there. See that? That's the whole back of the couch area right there. It's still there. Oreo! God damn you. Whiny bastard. This is great. I'm a really big fan of this particular beverage. Surprisingly enough, I randomly popped in my head. I don't know if any of you, it seems that nobody did because nobody did, nobody did. Nobody noticed because nobody commented. But I accidentally actually daily drink vlogged the spiked root beer by Captain Morgan twice. Yeah, that happened. It was, let me just double check here. This might, I might fast forward stuff a little bit and things might kind of go wonky for a second. The Captain Morgan Spiked Root Beer was reviewed, vlogged, whatever, on Daily Drink number 247 and then again for Daily Drink 373. I don't even know how I managed that. It's the only time that I have fucked up like that. It's kind of funny because the first time I gave it an 8.5, I think, and the second time I gave it a 10. So I guess I liked it more, but you know, I've done enough festival vlogs and things like that. And I was just thinking in my head, St. Patrick's Day is coming up last year for St. Patrick's Day. I had four different beer slash whatever's for that. So I'm okay. You know, I kind of, I kind of missed one there, but at the same time, I've kind of got a couple in the bank, as it were. If that is a thing that is an acceptable excuse.
I was quite shocked to find out that I had done that. I'm not really overly impressed with myself and stuff. Ah, uh, today! No, I already said that whole thing. That was great. Yep, doing it again. Fucking up. On this date in 1970, the French submarine Eurydice, 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 I don't know, E U R Y Dice, exploded, resulting in the loss of the entire 50 San, 57, 50 San, 57 man crew. And Nobody knows why. That's what it looked like. And then that's like a shot of what they found on the bottom of the ocean. And to this day, no one knows why. They just, it just blew up. There's no no explanation, no nothing. It's kind of crazy. And it'd be like to, to be a family member or next of kin, anything of the 57 people that died, like, that's got to be a thing that would... Like, it happened in, what, 1970? So some of their family members are probably still alive, I would think. And, yeah, to not even know what happened? Like, how, how did your family member... I can't imagine that. Everyone that I know that has died, you know, close to me, I, I know what happened. Like, cancer, old age, this and that and that. But to not know and have someone that you love taken from you... I can't even imagine what that must feel like because it's never happened. And fingers crossed, knock on something that there's wood in here somewhere. It's like a coating, but there's wood under it. Knock on wood. I never will have to experience that. This has a very very nicely done cola flavor. Like the cola in it. I didn't even pick this up. Let's do that right now. Whole new setup. I'm doing great at just remembering everything. Ingredients are carbonated water, glucose, fructose, rum, natural and artificial flavors, citric acid, color, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, sodium citrate, and it contains soy. That just sounds like that's a weird thing. 7% alcohol, so it's not it's not uh, something you, I don't know, you could, I guess, drink like a six pack of this in a night, but you, it'd be a bad idea. It's, it's way more sugary and bad for you in the long run than just say any typical beer. Beer does have sugars in it, but not to the extent this probably does. And that is what they call a date code. Can you see it? You can see it. I'm gonna fucking throw my goddamn phone across the room in a second i need to pick it up and actually put it on vibrate give me a second turns out the messages i was getting were completely acceptable that was charismatic the addict sending me some of his beats for the background music as i just may have kind of showed you there yeah i have some really i don't have a whole lot of close friends but the close friends i have are good friends. I'm very, very lucky, blessed. I believe in blessed, but that's a phrase. I didn't even turn the fucking thing off. There you go. Vibrate! Yes, I feel blessed in whatever way someone who doesn't believe in anything really can be blessed to have that kind of, like, family and my friends. Awesome, awesome, awesome people. I'm still where I should be, right? Yes, I am. On this date in 1974, People Magazine published the first issue ever in the U.S. Uh, it was actually called People Weekly in the beginning. And what the hell happened right there? Why that? Why? Why? Why are you the picture of the thing? Yeah, I fucked up again. When I do this, I look into the pictures and I then sort them and I give them name. I give I name them like one, two, three, four, five dot JPEG, blah blah blah, so that they can be put into this sequence. And I completely fucked up and put the last pictures where these pictures should be go. Should be go. Should be go? Really? Come on. On this date, 1974, People Magazine published for the first time in the U.S. Under, as People Weekly, which I said before. And yeah, it's one of those magazines that 
it's a kind of decent thing. I don't know, like they publish stuff about people and you can learn things, but it's more they're more well known for like this type of thing. You know, The Rock is the sexiest man alive. And they have a few other annual issues along those lines. I'm not sure if the sexiest woman alive is a thing, but yeah, there's other... So there, there, it's right here. Give me a second. Where's my goddamn mouse cursor? Where'd you go? There you are. I found it. We're good. What do you got here? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Like they have the world's most beautiful, best and worst dress, and sexiest man in life. Those are like the things that some people may know them for. If that... Yeah. 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 Yep! Like I said before, doing it this way, it's less overall actual editing for me at the end, kind of. There might be more cuts now than there were before. But doing this <laughs> is it's surprisingly not easy. When I set it up, I thought, hey, this is going to work so much better. But getting used to it, it's taken some time. I do like it overall, though, like I said. I enjoy having the screen right here where I can actually look at it and address things. I could maybe like put something on the screen right there and make me look all funny or something. Or like I just did, hit my head on the screen and put a giant smudge. Which thankfully I think isn't coming up in your view. Good times. It is, like I said, very high on the carbonation. But I think the Jack Daniel stuff is around 7% as well. And the, the flavor, like the whiskey flavor, was way up here in that one. The rum flavor in this one is, it's there, but it's not nearly as in your face. This is more cola flavor. <laughs> and more carbonation. Finally on this date, in 1986, the Sylvia Vega 1 began returning images of Halley's Comet. Halley's Comet? Halley's Comet? I'm not quite sure how it's supposed to be pronounced. But that's kind of what it looks like. It's that comet that, if you're lucky, depending on when you were born, there's a chance you can see it twice in your lifetime. I kind of missed my first chance because I was a little baby. But next time it comes, maybe I'll see it. And it actually returned the first images of Halley's, Halley's Comet's nucleus. Which... That's what the picture looks like. Super high def. You can see all kinds of... No, it's not. It doesn't really show a goddamn thing. I don't know. It was the thing that said happened on this date, and I thought it was kind of cool, so we read it, and we experienced it. We never lost. If you had a can of this, and you drank it along with me, then chances are good you didn't get a cat hair in your mouth with the last drink. But I'd hope that we both enjoyed it together, because Captain Morgan, your spiked cola, I, I can't not be like solid nine. I don't like it quite as much as the root beer. The root beer got that solid 10 in the second vlog type fucking mistake I made, but this, nine. Very, very good stuff, and recommended by the beard. Haven't done that in a while either. And that's gonna do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got some to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! That worked out okay, me actually getting out of my seat to do the end outro thing and still keeping it the way it's been for a while. I like that. It's like, yeah, coming at you. Huh, huh, or something. I don't know. It was fun and I'm okay with it. And leave me comments with your criticisms or compliments or whatever things you may have to say. 